Restaurant owners say the pandemic is still impacting their bottom line two and a half years since it first began and long after restaurant restrictions were lifted. Last week, the State Restaurant Association reporting that 91% of restaurants are less profitable than they were before COVID-19. 39% of restaurant owners said that they believe business will never fully recover. Critzia Williams spoke to a restaurant owner in Williamsville who says local leaders are standing in the way of his efforts to grow. I've been going to the restaurants since they, since they opened. Julian Macy is talking about Share Kitchen and Bar in Williamsville. He says recently he has not been happy with the way the restaurant has been treated by the Historic Preservation Commission. So it, I was just a little upset that uh, this was uh, this was taking place right here in my uh, my backyard. After speaking with the restaurant owner, Joel Shrek, he tells me the commission has voted against his plan to add an enclosure to his patio. He says this is not to grow his business, but to keep the doors open. Growth can come later, but it's more about surviving now anymore. It's about us having enough seats to sustain higher labor and food costs. The owner tells me the commission has fears that the enclosure that will be built right here on this side of the restaurant will actually block a view of a historic mill that's just right down this sidewalk. At this time, the commission has not gotten back to me, but after emailing them, the meeting notes were provided and say, quote, they moved to deny the proposed dining expansion and roofed patio. Kind of makes me pretty angry that they're not letting businesses succeed in the village. Shrek says the pandemic hit his business hard and he needs the enclosure to keep his outdoor patio open for more than just four months a year. Shrek says he has no ill intentions for the historic buildings. We actually value that we are part of a historic village. But he fears mom and pop shops are disappearing due to situations like this one. By early next year, Cher will not be here. I'm certain of it. Critzia Williams, 7 News, Williamsville.